Family, and welcome back. If you're just joining in, you're watching the Tell It to Richard talk show on another edition on women and politics. Like I said before, today we can't talk um, about the white paper with the president just launched. And also we could talk a little bit about um, LEC in pardon with the president evoke. So now stay tuned again. And if you just joined the, 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 the program, please share the video. Please, please share the video. It's very important so that other Sierraians can benefit from this video. And also the program, the broadcast right now, as I talk, the broadcast live on Star TV Sierraion. And I want to appreciate Star for, you know, for ensure saying the program is always there every Saturday. So today, I'm making no waste time. Um, today, I get, um, let me put up my guest. Today, I get um, lawyer, Ibrahim Suri Korma, um, a lawyer and a public policy specialist. Ibrahim, can you say hello to Fambule? Thank you for having me, Rachel. Um, Fambule, na kushe na kabo. Thank happy you to very be here. much. Well, today I can get uh, a discussion with the lawyer, the lawyer himself, and a public policy specialist. So um, again, vast uh, uh, idea of all what we can discuss. So. You know, and very, very knowledgeable. So, we can learn. Myself, I can always learn from you. <laughs> Anytime you come on my program, I also learn from you. <laughs> so, I really appreciate you coming to my program. So, let's move forward um, very quickly. And um, let me talk about the white paper first. Um, what's in the need, or why the need for a constitutional review, um, or and how it come about? Uh, thank you. Thank you again. Um, I think it's very important for make people able to understand why uh, the nation uh, be demand for a new constitution. We all know, say, we country been challenged by a lot of things then. We don't go through uh, a long history of violence, a long history of misrule, and people, they always they question the leaders them and the power in the exercise and and so for example what you will see come out of that frustration day now a civil war we take the lives of over 50,000 as per official records the lives of over 50,000 innocent people in our country and some of them problems and they basically now concerns them and as i say just now frustration from the ordinary people, we feel say the people that we get the power, then they abuse them power, then they protect the, the, the people them. And so they don't get way for communicate that one day. So they go to war. They basically take take arms and begin fets the government force, but then unfortunately uh, begin fets civilians as well. And the civilian population basically that they suffer the most. So out of all of that, we as a nation, we move from that level day and say, uh, it looks like an attempt for make we talk peace and people then come together for try for negotiate for peace. And in that negotiation and part of the uh, the strategy then, now for look for ways and means for resolve the concerns them way, the people they way particularly go to war, we're going to bush, we not be the concerns. And highlighted amongst those concerns in those discussions now the fact that um, the law then they implement them badly and the people they will get the power then they exercise them power then they basically against the other the ordinary man so now out of them discussion then they the issue or the need for constitutional review come because then look at the 1991 constitution even though the 1991 constitution come about almost at the same time we the civil war starts, but people they assess the constitution say even that constitution this is a big problem. So apart from just the the old colonial and post colonial concerns, they wouldn't get the one party rule with all the political parties they've been there. The concerns were that the constitution is not favorable. The powers they were there to certain individuals, for example, the presidency. And the other people, them, you know, the judiciary doing the ex exercise, um, the way they they, 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 they they administer justice, and, and those concerns. So people them always don't argue. Say 
we need a new constitution, a new, basically a new political platform. Uh, for, All right, for okay. Person. All right, uh, okay. Thank you, uh, um, Ibrahim. Like I say, you can always go from Usairi Komot and Usairi Day at this point, you know, for and, and educate some people then of how this whole constitutional review come about, where they like today, we they talk about, about and so. Um, let's go to the day where the president will launch the, the white paper. Uh, the president say plenty, plenty things to them, and inside the white paper, we say plenty, plenty things to them. But what do you think about the, the reaction or the response of the speaker? Well, before I go to uh, president in statement, I want to highlight a few things. One, that in 2016 17, there was a white paper where um, come out of the constitutional review committee, where they be set up earlier in 2008. So, in other words, the constitutional review, what they talk about, it actually started um, in 2015, end of 2015 or 16, and then it end up and produced a government then, produced a white paper. Uh, unfortunately, that white paper did not be able to go through to the next stage uh, for see the new constitution happen. And so there was a transition elections in 2018. So, now, the pre well, before the before the elections, citizens they be always don't prioritize the um, the new constitution for be basically the bedrock for the, the new Sierra Leone. It for be the foundation for the new Sierra Leone. So the expectation was that a new government will take that day as a priority and make sure see we get a new constitution. But it didn't happen. Um, so a few months to uh, the president in time, um, just this year. Uh, I think it was on the 13th, it, it bring up an, another white paper. And now this white paper, President basically say, um, it is implement what the Constitutional Review Committee be, be suggest. And so it choose a committee, another committee. I mean, and th that committee, they, there are certain concerns about the committee where President choose and and how they go about them, but then they produce this white paper. The white paper gets a lot of controversy. In my, my own view, uh, some of the things that we presidents choose, they're very good, but some of the statements that we make, they are not reconciliatory, they are not good statements, they are not acknowledging a problem, they are not, uh, they are expanding the problem. What's about and... some, some of the statements? Because I, 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 I hear from different quarters that, he personally attacked, attacked the opposition and um, some other things the way he said. Well, as I said earlier, I said the, the, the government, the last government, go through to the stage where they produce a white paper. But the discussions around the, what happened around the, that time, the 2017, few, just one year to elections, was perhaps you know, effaced from the minds of many Sierra Leoneans, where um, no member exactly what be happened. At the time, the government they try to push for a new constitution and try to amend certain sections of the constitution. A lot of people them come out and say, no, it's not time. It should not be your responsibility anymore. So you could just conduct, at, at that time, they, the last president in, in second time done they done. So there was a lot of pressure coming from civil society, coming from political parties, say, then for drop the idea of pushing through a new constitution or amendment to the old constitution. So they go for left arm to the new government for make it do. So now that I make a say this now in the introduction, see, the expectation was that the new government would not prioritize them. Exactly. This is, this is my point exactly. You don't state, uh, we all are aware, say, the last government, when uh, um, it was closer, you know, people feel it was closer to election and the timing yeah. was really, really late. So they will put, they, they will put pressure upon the government to make the left and give the, the government to get for calm. So in the case where President Biosef don't launch this white paper, in a time when we are focusing on election, I mean, do, does he have, have the uh, has the moral or have the moral standing at this time for make Igo launch this white paper since we are getting into the um the, the elections? Well, me 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 now for going to morality, but I want to talk about the law and the facts. Now, what is the law now that president, the government of Sierra Leone gets the right for implement the recommendations and the recommendation of the CRC and look at them and look at what they actually appropriate for the country, you know. But in doing that, it can for be as consultative and as expansive as the other people them will form the CRC. Been they, 
not necessarily getting the same number, but it get, it get for be a committee where for look at the recommendations. Again, it has to be a broad-based committee of stakeholders rather than hand-picked people the way president believes say then go look at what thing the government wants, the government of the day wants, and then put them forward as as recommend as thing the way solid for my government to implement. That is my personal view. Uh, but in the terms of the fact, in terms of the fact, now that the last government be there under pressure, say you're moving to election year. If I don't do all of this, you know, do I'm. it should not be your your responsibility again. So me go say, why are we not asking the same question right now? Say we are moving to elections. Elections now less than one year. Local council elections. Yeah, and the it's less than one year. And we, are, we, are, we, are, we are silent about the pre problems so they come. And the president, at that time, at that time uh, um, um, lawyer Ibrahim, at that time, like we all are aware, the pressure be they come on seriously from civil society and other organizations, and the pressure the APC government then at that time that this should not be your business and something one have we don't prioritize long time. We are getting to election here. So at this time again, when President Biowan can do the same thing, it's because it's basically the same thing. Why, like the question you're asking, why people are quiet, civil society and other groups are quiet about the timing where this white paper come out? Well, this is not a question where I think they activist them for the ask. People in the media like Euna for they ask those questions. You know, and we when we get platform like this, we can share with the ideas and with some people that don't forget, we can remind them. But this now facts, and I think say now a concern where everybody forgets and for reason as a discussion point. Why is it that president waits four years after in time? Just one year to the end of in time, and few months to the first election sets of elections. He said, oh, get constitutional review. Why is that the case? So that's a question, legitimate question for us. But in terms of dealing with the concerns them, we don't come. I say, I highlight just now say, there's a committee where presidents make. The com committee has been basically challenged. Say it was not broad-based enough. It was not, uh, you, know, get the, you know, get the views of other stakeholders in the, in the community. And as, as a result, it basically focused on Waiting, President Bio and the government want for for push through and for make people and look at say if necessary. But um, if you look, if you compare the two papers where the last government do and the this one government do, you go begin for ask questions. Say, is it about prioritizing what you think is necessary or not? Because the last argument where the the opposition then now the government will get now that APC one for push through a new constitution and, and I mean an amended constitution so that they go get upper hand in the elections. Now, this government, they push through um, subject matters where they don't raise the recommendation and they don't put it on the white paper and say nothing the way he wants. In fact, the president highlighted in his speech say nothing the way he implements immediately. Because things are like for say, political parties know they take part by local council elections anymore. You go for making non-partisan. Non that is that is a serious issue a few months ago local council elections. So people therefore look at them and I think say me they call on civil society for ask those questions and get a discussion, frank discussion with the government. Why is it pushing? Why is government pushing all of those uh, uh, points at this material time few months to elections? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, we, we all concerned um, that I mean the, the civil society um, should be able to ask um, certain questions, uh, but we haven't seen more, more of that uh, so far. You know, but that is why you know we bring bring on and them programs there so so that we are able for enlightening people there because this whole constitutional review need a lot of public education so that people can understand what's in awaiting the inside the, the, the constitutional review. So, so if I can if I can go back just a little bit and tell you what happened at the, at the constitutional review, the constitutional review committee itself was set up and say the constitutional review not to just sudden process, not to one person decide say. Now, X, Y, Z, people there for coming inside. No, it was as broad as possible. All organizations, all groups were represented. In fact, the committee, it's alone. Now, over now about 80 people in Mindidi, where, where every organization be represented. So, it, it tell you, say, it gets all the views of the people. So, so the question what's, what's, what's like the difference between that committee they then and now the, when the committee where the president be? Where the president well, in my own view, the, the last constitutional review, you know, uh, last commission, review committee 
it been broad based because the idea was as the, the launch the president stated in the launch of that particular pro, uh, constitutional review he said this constitutional review now the a very serious thing to we all we all for take and seriously we all for come and make an input everybody gets a stake into him that is what the last government says the last president says so we if he say if we set up a committee for re, for review that one day, it, the committee also whatever it is small or it's broad it has to be as representative be as possible so people then go actually say this is what we said at the time no not to this will be say at the time so, right. you know, so it could represent what the people they actually say. This is not a question. The people them will do the work, but now for just make people them actually feel say we are all being consulted in what's what's going on. Okay, uh, 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 absolutely. Because um, like you say, the constitutional review should be inclusive and needs a lot of you know c consensus here and there and all of that. But before I ask um, that question, the way Kampa um, opening the space. Um, it's one of the things where they inside the constitutional review, but um, from them, you self get a role for play. I mean, if you feel, say, the constitutional review, it's timely or it's too late, you won't forget to have views. If you think, say, the constitutional review with the president uh, and pull the white paper, it's, it's very important, it's good, it's timely. You want for your review. If you I think, say, it's not timely at all because we are getting into uh, uh, um, elections just like the last government where they said the one pool civil society they raised their concerns say um it is not their business at this time and um, because we are getting into elections so let me know uh, what you think on the comments um section so um ibrahim let us move to where in the constitutional review this one with the, the president um, and launch uh, it seems as if it gives more supreme power to the president and uh, the last constitu constitutional review was asking or for, was recommending that they reduce some of these supreme powers uh, from the president. But it's like it's done the other way this time. What do you think about that? Well, you see, just now our premise, my argument say, it, it appeared like um, what happened now this white paper of 2020, 2022 now that the pre the government basically projects what in then things say in necessary uh, what in then things say necessary for proceed with immediately rather than what it actually go, go enhance the constitutional change you know where people them actually they yearn for uh, which means that we have a new constitution rather than a partly amended constitution so for me the argument for make we we'll get a partly amended constitution first of all is faulty a faulty because a partly solved problem is not it does not solve the problem. So, so it comes back to the same thing. It's always a problem. So we need a new constitution. Every other country will don't transition. Well, what do you think about the powers? The what do you think about the powers, the supreme powers where where the president puts in I mean the supreme powers, there are a lot of supreme powers where the president gets inside this uh, um, constitutional review. It, now that now that's what I try to explain. So because the constitutional review committee make a recommendation. But the committee where government, where president choose, where did government choose, they make a contrary recommendation as to, as to the powers of the president. So now that make us say, then they choose the committee for make it do for or make it come out with what the government wants. Yeah, so for right. example, the recommendations, they will, they, will be, they will be plenty. But few of them are for that, the power of the president under the 1991 constitution is too much. It's too much. And certain things, it don't lead to misrepresentation. It don't lead to it don't lead to misinterpretation of the power of the president, and it don't actually lead to abuse of office and abuse of power. So for that reason, the constitutional committee, she say, those them things are needed for correct them. You know, executive, uh, 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 supreme executive authority, and and stuff like those, they have been misinterpreted so many times. Mister Sebastian Yeri, President Bio, don't misinterpret supreme executive authority. By calling he call himself a supreme head of state, which is wrong, because he's not supreme head of state. He's head of state where gets supreme executive authority. We done that, that so that thing and they all where people there for 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 able for get the opportunity for look at the constitution itself the, as recommended by by the constitutional review committee and ask questions. So in other words, they for open the space so people then go. Then go and go for ask questions and discuss and whether they're comfortable with stuff like those and not select things that were easy for do and then proceed. 
we are not running away. Besides the constitutional amendment itself, even if they want to amend them, it takes a lot of a lot of work, a lot of canvassing, a lot of negotiations, and that one is definitely not going for each time before the. Yeah, so, in, yeah, so, so in a nutshell, from all which you say, and from most people in concern is the timing. Just like the past APC government, the timing is not the right time. Therefore, don't prioritize them from since they, they come into governance. That should have been their priority. But right now, like you say, it needs a lot of you know debates, consensus, and all and a lot of process. You know, not something we could just grab and welcome like that. It, it, it gets stages they really go. And by the time those stages uh, you know they're reached, I mean we go down there in the middle of election. So I think say people, like you said. The voices I'm hearing from Sierra Leoneans is people not welcome the constitutional review at this point because of the timing. Like I said, let me know what you think on the comment section. What you think about the constitutional review? Is it, is it timely or not? Let, let, let us hear from you, uh, um, uh, the public. Um, so, so what you are for saying yeah. that I think say this discussion for me now the first discussion we are uh, well where they basically discuss the the advantages of getting um, a, a constitutional amendment moving forward and leading to the elections. So hopefully this one will provoke further discussions from, from, from here and, and perhaps from home and other people can go look at them. But if you look at the timing, me thinks they're not correct, you know, you know, you know right, that's the right time. Um, because um, other people then get for gay inputs, other people then get for definitely object. And forget to talk majority, we know the politics in our country. It also means say, you forget members of the opposition for join voting government one. So all of those questions put together, it is, it, if, if it not leads to chaos in parliament again, then it will lead to another um, um, police going to the to the to the to the well of parliament and pushing people out so that they go pass a constitutional amendment. And we don't want for that kind of thing there anymore. You know, those those times are, are gone now. We we should. We, we got to focus now on building the country. We don't right, we okay. come back and few months to elections, police and soldiers, they also go parliament for, for do all waiting and they're not used for do. But what are they saying now that we have to have a proper conversation on this one so that when the opposition says they come for can join government for do the amendments where they don't want for do. Because as an individual, me as an individual, I don't think say an amendment or pass amendments of the constitution at the best. Me think say we need a new constitution. You know, a new constitution where we take time as a country for develop. And I mean, I I, I mean, actually hope say President Bio in camp one, if you not do if you not start in twenty in twenty eighteen we come twenty nineteen at least at the latest if we don't start. So by this time, we, we almost go to 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 completing. Uh, and, and, and getting the new constitution heading to election. Then that's going to be right. the deal. Okay, well, I, just want for, I just want to follow we touch quickly before we go to the other issue. I want to touch quickly about some of the things that were there inside uh, um, the white paper. Uh, the white paper. So one, one thing where they inside the, uh, again is the proportional re representation because you know, say back in um, I think in, nine, in 2002 President Kaba been tried that proportional representation, and uh, I think say it not be work. So if we go back in 2017 to with the constitution with the constituency system. So what do you think about this? Now that this uh, SLPP government don't bring and come back the proportional representation, what what are your views on that? So so me as an individual, I think say by 20 um, 2002. 2002. Yes, we. The last proportion, the, la the, the, the last proportional uh, representation experimentation not work. It was tried because people voted on on those basis. But then the government, then the SAP government, then led by Amati Jankaba of blessed memory. See and say proportional representation also the best system under the kind system of uh, 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 with traditional political system in our country and how people they actually pro practice politics because. You go want for develop the politics from the base. And make sure say people then get voice. People then they choose people that they believe say not them they they go represent them rather than a political party deciding who should represent those people. So that now the proponents them 
of, of um, the PR system, not consider whether, in fact, the people them, where them people are all going to represent the parliament, now actually not their choice. So the choice has to be made by the people that where they choose, uh, the, the party where they choose this particular. So each party gets to send a list of candidates. So the voting process will be determined by how how them candidates that they stand, rather than the people directly involved in the decisions of those. So then the disadvantage is so much that they disconnect members of parliament to the people them. They not get no direct connection with the people them at all at all. So then they don't get obligation to them. And there's no, no, there's less accountability as well. So that's that's what I mean. I mean. Yeah. Not only are they talking, it, it cuts yeah. them off from the people. So not to you, not to you put me there, even though you take part for the election. But now this this party, now he sent me name and I, I threw the when I vote. So that's kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Because right now people get to make sure you members of parliament they're really really connected to the people there, and then. But a PR system will basically destroy that kind of thing. Yeah, a lot of people are equally frowning at the PR, the, the proportional the PR system. Basically. So for, so for me as an individual, I think say. This is not something where we need a, a lot of public education on. People get forget the opportunity for ask questions so they understand how this they work. How, we, why we've been trying in 2002, and then what, after just one circle, we say, no, this is not a work for me. Why was it dropped? All of those questions have to be answered. You know, just I find mean, two, three people that you don't have television or radio and say, uh, me think say, this is not the best for me. It cannot. It doesn't happen like that. We don't pass that stage there now where two three people could just decide and and <laughs> and say this name for me. The rest I, of the I, people. I, I totally agree with you because there, there should be a lot of a lot of public uh, education because mind you, the the when you look at the statistic of the literacy rate in a salon is very very small. So this in a lot of public uh, uh, yeah, um, education needs to go into this thing. So. Not to not to today business with the talk. So this is these are all the reason put together that um, people are saying, or, or some of you guys are saying that the timing is not really really the right time because now people are need for focus on the election. And let's also touch on quickly um, the fifty plus one votes. We also day inside the white paper. What are you you concerned? Because a lot of people these are. I'm just picking some of those things because these are the concerns with, with people in front and challenge inside the white paper. What do you think about the 50 plus one vote? If I get to be honest, that particular suggestion day, Nasalo, in the, at this present moment, that the worst thing for the country. And my argument is simple. We country, everybody don't say this. We country is divided in the middle from top to down. So all what you need, now one person from the other side for crossover. You not care again for the rest of the other people. That is what it means. And that one is not good for we. And then they bring harmony. It go further divide the country. The people that women put the, the 55 percent, it's very, very good. Now good thoughts because, and the argument is simple. If you're not president, we come on at the south. You definitely need people that will vote for you from the north or the west and the east. That is why it was put there. So it also means say, you get for move from the south, you go to the north, you go to the east, you go to the west. And go campaign day and get basis day. Similarly, if you come up from the western area or the north, you get for going to the south and the east. Make sure you get represented. That is what it means. That is what brings the country together. Yeah, because because I mean, this fifty plus one is like if the president don't get, for example, if the president we come on at the south, don't just get the south. It just means say, it, it look like saying at the south. Now young people are no more in the government. Now young people are no more in the so. And I give you a practical example. So it's a lot of division, like you say, a lot of division. Like give you a practical example, and this is daytime. The last election, you see how. Two areas in particular voted. Kono, they voted almost 100% for C4C. So what's that name mean? It cuts the Kono people. The C4C cut out for Kono only. Because the only people who vote for them, when make them get representation, when get the numbers them, that Kono they need. And they are content, they are satisfied. NGC, 
the people that will vote for them, when they get representation of parliament, they all now can be at the end. So when you give people say 50.1, 50.1, again, me based from west to east, it cuts me do. I'm not saying yeah, now they get the the rest of the people are not care about now. Me focus on who they are because now yeah, they they vote for me. So I they build here, I they put all my resources now yeah, because I want to continue for the win. 50 plus one is so easy to forget. And I don't care much. I don't go there, but I don't care much. You know, and this we talk when people they talk about eh, 50 points, but well, they save the country money, not so individual money, it's all everybody's money. It's everybody's money. You know, and what's it important not for how much we save money from elections. And besides, we know how elections are conducted and who puts money in elections now alone. So that in us completely um uh, uh argument will not make sense. I, I think but, so but people but really on, need to know the consequences uh, um, of this 50 uh, plus one, the danger behind it, and the consequences where you self don't make clear is a uh, show a sign of division. Because um, if one side no more, let's say South don't vote for you, then you don't care about the people from the North, then you don't care about the people from the East. So I think people need to understand that moving forward. Make we really look at them and you know get a consultation consultation and debate around some of the, the issues there. But that there is another, you're perfectly right. But there is another issue. We get to deal with this one. Now, you are we are saying there is a census that is going on. It's a midterm census we'll never get before. So what is now they mean now that the controversy alone surrounding the census, it don't further divide the people that win a politician in our country. It don't further divide the country. So nobody knows what comes out of that census. Nobody knows the figures that are coming out because we don't see projections here and there. So let's say, for example, the census results come out in increased numbers in a particular area where divide the population in favor of a particular section. What that means is, if I'm a stronghold, I win election easily. That is what it means. So if you win election easily on the basis of 50.1, if you continue for winning that election, they take go. And this is the danger. If they further divide the country, there will be more war, there will be more fighting, there will be more political chaos. And we, as young people, we don't want this kind of thing anymore in our country. Absolutely. absolutely. We don't want that kind of thing. So Me think right. if you want to be president, you can forget the popularity from among people in all regions. Then get for vote for you. 5% for come out from the other side, not a big number. 5% for not a big number. And I don't really the argument. Just before you go to the next point. I don't really the argument say 50, 55% will anybody know they get them, then they go to the second round, they don't care again whether I got 55. That is perfectly right. But what we are saying is at the time we defense for 50.1 and 55%, uh, you have to canvas the entire country. You don't sit in 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 Cambia or or you sit in Port Loco. You get your people there for Port Loco because Port Loco now fifty percent of of the country, or the north and the northwest now already fifty percent of the country. I feel confident that they get the number. I don't care. No, you have to care because you might not get the fifty five percent anyway. Forget the fifty five percent. You get for go outside. And that is what it means. If you remove that, that requirement day, you make the politician them complacent. You make them so comfortable. And because it's easy to get. If you're able to manipulate figures, for example, a census, where people don't care about what in the opposition say. You know? So what that means again? People don't go feel deprived. People don't go feel like the, the superpower where people then get uh, uh, executive members or the, or people then when they exercise certain authority get too much power and they deprive them. These are the concerns that people then highlight during the negotiation for peace after the civil war. And at the same reason, people then highlight as causes for going to war. So, so we don't want that to there anymore. And then I mean, I think that the right term this for make people they argue about waiting justiciable what is actually good for the country just in the in the room we so have to go back and what's good for the country yeah yeah that is absolutely. it uh, um, absolutely you know that is why we, we need some of them conversation yeah so 
because I mean it broadens uh, the uh, people in their mind and it also makes them understand, you know, what some of them thinks they are so we all term the government's kiwan for shove that salon people in through by force by force. Um and let me move to another issue um because I want to follow with Rob by this issue again because in safe don't they really really uh, 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 engage people then you know people they only discuss that people they have their own thoughts and all of that but you coming from the law side and also you know a uh, policy a uh, public policy specialist um you should be uh, I, I believe say you for you know define some of them things there so when it comes to the uh, uh, LSE issue then but family like I say um, um we want for see on our thoughts and comments what to think about the white paper is it timely or not and also when it comes to LSE issue what you want to think with all of the, the the pardoning and revoke we take place a couple of days ago. Um, what's in a, let, let's come to LSE issue. You know, Bemba uh, Moifori, um, something, Bemba Moifori, you know. Well, first of all, I want to make you lay out the process or the procedure when it comes to presidential pardoning. What are the process or the procedures and who are in, who are in this committee when it comes to presidential pardoning, uh, thank you. This is now, now that very controversial issue we lately I don't I don't follow, and um, pardon powers basically in our powers the way people they in, in in authority sovereigns in other countries and call them president in the other countries and call them supreme executive where they get power for. Either forgive somebody for reduce in penalty we get as a result of um, what he do, what they find guilty, or they sentence him for, and so therefore um, the people them believe say somebody of that nature where all man they look forward to say now in the head, now in the papa for the country, you know they do bad. So there is this thing where they say uh, the king do does no harm. So in other words. Um, even though they prosecute cases in the name of the president and, they, and uh, or, the, or the sovereign, there is always this thinking, say, that particular sovereign, the, the king or the president, you know, they do harm. So therefore, we, people then caught up in, in the law and, and then they broke the law and then they're sentenced. The president always get the power to forgive those people. So basically, that they uh, pardon powers they about. And so under the constitution, they give the president, the constitution give the president the power for exercise that kind of um, authority day for forgive people there for any offense whatsoever. Or you remit or you reduce the, the sentence or you suspend her for some time and um, and you basically exercise that kind of power. But in the case of um, somebody where they kill somebody, the constitution very clear. So whereas in other in other cases where lately they don't they exercise that, that kind of authority, now country president they don't they exercise because the pardon powers itself it come out from only um situations where the person they, they get death sentence, we're not for killer. You know, if the person they face death sentence, now so the power power, the, the pardon power now so it come about. Then the press the self the sovereign or the president king. Can exercise them power then they but in different countries they don't give that power they to different committees different what you say but in in, in salon they restrict them to the president so if the person they find are guilty for kill say they are kill the kill person and so therefore or na prison because the reason they want the kill person in our country under we law a different reason if na mutiny if na so German, for example will overthrow the government or if you take part from coup or if you kill other person under them condition and they all if they convict you of um robbery with violence then they didn't then carry a death penalty so the president king forgive you but that power there as i say don't enlarge to it will, for include every other offense lately so but as i say if the person they face death penalty the condition the way the constitution sets a very simple he said if that person did face death penalty, what in the what thing for happen? The constitution creates a committee where now the executive 
or the cabinet now they set up that committee day. That committee day now the vice president now the chairperson. That committee day, if you ask a judge, the judge will try most times. The judge will try that particular person and convict them for produce a written report. And the reports for include so many things there. The constitution set them out, including the medical, the medical uh, uh, um, reports of the person involved, the, the, the person who is convicted. And that that committee, the committee for request now and the, and the judge for produce them and then for look them. And that report they normally can get the name of the person, the age, what thing actually happened, the circumstances, why they convict them, and then they then and then consider all of that before they put that kind of person in on pardon. Okay. But in this case, we involve um 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 LAC, as people can call her, Moi for it. Um, we don't know what happened. We don't know what happened at the background. But the aftermath of 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 that particular pardon power, I don't it don't bring a lot of embarrassment. But right, let, let, let's, as let's, country, go into, let's go into some of the embarrassment right there. Let's go into some of the embarrassment. Um, before I come to the committee, uh, um, to the people that we make up the committee of LAC and also the sacking of the attorney general, um, I want for also ask because a couple of days ago i think it was on a monday or so when the president uh you know um, signed a press release or something from the office of the president say the pardon because since pressure because the Sierra Leone people they put pressure on the the pardoning of lac and the president began to make a statement say they, they, they revoke the pardon any side, and I want to declare it to Salon people, and first of all, let's get it straight. Any side in the constitution say, where president don't pardon this person, um, he get also, um, there's a, 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 there's a saying in the constitution that it can be, pardoning can be revoked by the president. Is there any part of it in the constitution? The answer is simple, say no. But, even before I say no, I need for explain so people go understand. What's in a pardon? I don't say just no. Now we they forgive somebody. No. Now the thinking self. Just think about how you say self. Say you not the sovereign. You not the president of one country. You don't declare say this person. I don't forgive her. The person don't work at court. In family, they all don't celebrate. Everybody don't dance. You don't go out. You don't. You don't. They, they, they feel free now. Then you come back. You say no. I will not forgive you. Come back. What what's message and they said? He, he send message say, you know to post you a decisive. He send message say, you know to post you a thoughtful. He send message say, you know to post you a know what you do. He send negative messages. So so here we here we are now. Which uh, because the uh, the international eye they on Sierra Leone and even with the diplomats, the international community where they in Sierra Leone. I mean, saw this move by the president. Which signal you you started mentioning some of the signal or some of the message where the president is sending out there? Which some of the the, the, the message where the president is sent out there by revoking that uh, pardoning and which consequence or uh, consequences where it gets uh, um, on the president or uh, as a country? And I, I just summarize for you what you may think as an individual, but legally I don't also argue through my Twitter feed. Say the president not get power and no law not get power. Say we revoke for revoke a, 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 a pardon, a pardon. They let revoke pardon. It's not morally correct, it's not legally right. There is nothing we don't forgive somebody, don't declare at the material time. You don't declare, say Mr. X has been forgiven because the power, the constitution, and give power immediately make that pronouncement. Say, that person day, that conviction day, it completely off. Once the person accept the 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 the, the, the pardon, he walk away. Through that declaration, the president make any other thing you are all for. It can for be a fresh offense, not for that offense. So it, by law, the president not get the power, and nobody, even the police, that that not so them pull. I don't argue that one day, and I still wait for somebody for say no, this is not correct. Americans argue. And I'm ready for taking that kind of argument. The anything say the president get the power 
for re-arrest the man we don't pardon. He doesn't have it. And he also not morally correct for my president to do that. So that's what I'm First of all, he get the wrong advice. He get the wrong advice for Duam in the first place for pardon him. He was not correct. And I don't think say we meet the threshold. But secondly, the attempt and going about the the the, the revocation of the pardon. It, it makes everything just messy. Because pardon, as I argue, not a T way they revoke. When man don't walk free from a pardon as a sovereign, as a head of state, you don't call him back. So, so, you don't do you, that. so here's my question, uh, uh, um, Ibrahim. I'm asking, like, what in the, the, the message, the signal way is sent out there uh, as uh, the president of Sierra Leone? What signal we send to the international community, especially the one that we did within Salon? Which kind of security signal way is saying? I'm going to give you my own, my own personal ex experience. And me, I don't work for international organizations. So I get two calls, for example, from and um, my friends there, one day in Washington, who I'll be to work with, and the other one day some, somewhere in Central African Republic. See, they ask me, what's happening in your country? Why is the president revoking a pardon? So for me, as an individual, at the beginning, ask a question. Say, What's happening? So how people people actually they follow what's happening in our country, you know. So when you as a president they act that way, they, you, you not only and 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 partly are they blame the people the way they advise the president. I have said it before, like say President Bill not get people away really really for advisor, you know. I, I think say most people the way they are around and not, not just the flair and the the. The, the comfort they get that they care about. And, 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 and they're embarrassing the entire country. The president should not be act, acting inconsistently as, as, he, as he does so often. So as a person, I say, it's not, it's not good for the reputation of the president, but also not good for the country as well. Now, don't forget, this not president's way, they don't treat the death penalty with so ferocity where we all gladly say he ban death penalty, even though they don't they be the king of our country for a long time. I think the last day we they came our country now, sometime in 1990, uh, 98 or something, around about that. And since then, they don't pass a moratorium saying they kill pussy. But he officially banner, even though, again, they don't amend the laws they made, who will deal with that. So parliament therefore looked into that day. So it's still part of our law books. But for me, it got to that extent, say a banner, now and I'll be a very, very good thing. But now, if you go further, for do all what you don't do so in relation to this, um, convicted uh, person, it really, really sent conflicting message. You know, it, it sent conflicting message, and it, it's it's huge embarrassment. It's huge embarrassment. And as a result of that, I think I see the attorney general was fired. Now I don't know why they fired him. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I also yeah. see pictures. Yeah, I'm I also see that. pictures of um, the 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 so-called Maude release uh, I, with I'm the attorney not... general and uh, Aguirre interview of the minister of information saying himself go to attorney general Yos and go meet the, the so-called convicts and all three of them two government ministers then they take pictures with this man a man where controversially released where a lot of people in the country shocked and it don't count with serious serious challenge and embarrassment to government and the president in particular we may not feel good about for me the senior, senior most civil serv uh, servant uh, and appointee of the government for go act in that manner. It was, it was very disappointing. So this, is my, this, is my, this is my question here, uh, um, um, Mr. Ibrahim Sari Kamara, um, you know, lawyer and a policy specialist. This is my question here. Um, like you say, we don't see the president don't fire the attorney general because of you know, the photo and the, you know, people were putting pressure here and there. But in, 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 in my, my question is, is it only the attorney, the attorney general should be fired? Having seen all of this with the Minister of Information, uh, um, also the committee members, uh, can, can you please, uh, um, what, in, what in are your views? Because I, I've been hearing views about uh, um, of other people. But what in are your view? In the attorney, attorney General, no more the president for fire? Or what do you think in this kind of situation? 
so so the, the 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 history of executive authority is very clear to to my mind see presidents get power for appoints and everybody will appoint now in government get they serve at at your at your uh, basically uh, at at your time as as and when you want them if you don't want it today they fire you but I listen to the audio the video um the interview of the minister of information that was that was very very um cavalry that's very it, it, it's just as bad as what the the, the the attorney general and 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 do and in fact he escalated further because nobody knew where that picture was taken but the minister say the picture was taken at the ministers at the, the attorney general's home in tayama so he go further for provide details nobody know why a man of rado in stature go even go that far for try to put out um those details to the public where nobody was inquiring you know and even though i believe say me now i believe in transparency you know but the, the question is why would you after having been part of that particular uh uh photo up and show up nobody knows what they were doing there were a lot of people there you know at least eight people were there so what did they do there and i see i already said they deny say no get no business with the person but there are pictures with here the man they talk and <laughs> they take pictures in fact separately you know, I know Sabine, man. You cannot take those pictures with somebody you don't know. You know, I, I don't say it's clear. I think say, me think say as an individual, those people, those people who are in the committee, they embarrass the president, they embarrass the country, they should all resign. Therefore, if they're not resign, president for set them all aside and constitute a new a new board, a new committee, so that um next time you go know what you are waiting for do, and then go follow the procedure. And I think say in terms of people away. As I don't set out, uh, explain this no way. Clearly, they under the constitution, the president could not have been deceived. If I don't able for read the details of the report from the judge, as the constitution say, and advise himself, or at least somebody advise her. If they did not do it, the president will take an action. I mean, the embarrassment is not just for government; it's for everybody. I give you an example by people calling me from outside and asking me those questions. We are unable for explain. Oh, it's so everybody can go. I think so I want, because I want you to be specific. So, in other words, you are saying that the committee, because the head of the committee was the vice president, even though the vice president was lost in the country. So, do you think the vice president should be sacked? Me think that the vice president I impose for not resign. If I don't resign from the committee, because this is a function, don't forget, this is not a function where they exercise um at the time where it is. But he's part of the executive. I mean, he's part of the committee. And whether he did it or not, he could not get in your input. Whether he, he, he directs somebody else for act on his behalf as chairperson or otherwise, we mean say he gets tacit approval for the thing they do, so he knows exactly what happened. So all of those, all of those things put together, that, that committee should be completely dissolved. Um, um, other people were were questioning the the competency of his excellency the president do you think um as people are, are, are saying out there that the president also should resign or um i mean parliament should ask for an impeachment other countries them now other countries them an issue like this then go force the president prime minister whosoever he is for resign now can we do that in our country people don't have the guts to do that. And if you don't resign, Parliament can impeach him. Because it show a pattern from my own experience. There are a lot of missteps that don't come up over and over and over. And it appeared before now, it appeared like I say, the, the missteps or the constitutional breaches were mistaken. And even though the president is say anything they do is well thought out. His, his choreograph, his practice, and it's intentional. He said it himself. So me, I still give them the benefits of the doubt and say, we've been the things saying and mistakes. But for me, until the terrible intentional talk and say, anything they do intentional. So I begin for say, now we should hold our president and our government responsible for what's happening. And one of which is something like this. We bring our embarrassment 
to both the, the government and the country. Uh, I, I think for six of the year, the only person who has not seen Asalowe resign from government before, I think that Julius Spencer. I'm not aware of any other person. There might be some other people, because people in our country they just look at they not just look at polit uh, politics as it's a job and it's a livelihood. I cannot resign. What no no matter the shame, nobody no, nobody not care about the shame, you know. And because they believe say we shall alone people in a one two days talk no more, and then it's gone over the air and people have forgotten about it. So, so what people just to take moral responsibility uh, for even the decisions so, so they make. So so for me, uh, for holding government responsible, and they take government by their own word. The president said anything what they do. We, the, we talk this, is where, this, is where this is where I'm coming. This is where I'm coming with this. He issue. said anything what they do is intentional. So do you think that the president should take? responsibility of this uh, unforgivable uh, um, error or mistake and resign well absolutely the the decision to pardon was not the committee's decision i want people to understand that in the first place it was not the committee's decision it was the president's decision so the president now your action now in this and this shift blame shifting in not help at all it is the president's responsibility to pardon. If he pardon the wrong person, he can for be brave and take responsibility and do the right thing as well. He not even make a statement. I didn't say a statement. He didn't come out to say, oh, I made a mistake. He didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. Apart from the press release, where well, he purportedly issued from, 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 from a spokesperson, say he revoke the, the, the pardon. It doesn't make sense to me. But that, that's Leon for you. But me think say the president has to take responsibility. This is an executive authority where exercise himself personally. This is not a power itself for the constitution down for the way they delegate. He doesn't delegate that. For other power than the way they delegate. But this is one that he doesn't delegate. So we make error. Now himself will take responsibility for the error. So um how um like you said, in this situation. Um, Sierra Leoneans are really, really concerned that um, LAC don't left the country just at the time where the release come out. Do you think it was intentional from the government or from the part of the president to release that statement just after or knowingly that LAC don't left the country? <laughs> then, they, then they look a, lo a little bit um, higgly and and I, I'm not going to be in a position for say waiting waiting with the happen at the material time because I not get facts as to whether he be dinner at the country or he don't left. I, I don't hear any rumors about him carrying um, a, 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 a passport with a different name. I don't hear any stories about him traveling with a diplomatic passport. I don't see videos of him. Where if you done with a military officer, I introduce him as a chief ex chief security officer. I don't see all of those I've seen. You know, I don't also see this morning new photos of him and other white people. I think somewhere in Europe, where are, are apparently they now because they were denying that um, he didn't travel, and but the police put out uh, a warrant of arrest and put out an alert to people there. Uh, even put bounty of 10 million or so on his head. So for me, the first thing was say just no. It was wrong that he was pardoned. So whatever people then think say happened, then happened. People were justified to make those those claims. Number two, it was also wrong that the president attempt to revoke the pardon. Me think they were not just left and so because a pardon cannot be reversed. The man don't get in freedom at the moment you don't declare. That is it. That is the law. Anywhere. You cannot say I reverse it. And for example, a pardon. You can even bribe for a pardon. It a bribe for making get pardon. Some people paid money to get pardon. They, they do it all over the world. So that's all illegal. You know, not get that illegality. You know, you know they reverse them because it's illegal. People so, pay money. So, people so, bribe, so, you can bribe for it. People bribe for applications. It applies. 
So that means, say, so what do you talk? So say, I mean, revoking both president, the president signs, stamp everything from the president's office, say them for revoke. So in other words, you have a term, say the president no no waiting, you don't understand, you don't know the constitution, you don't understand. You don't know that was ill advised. There is no sense in that because history don't tell me from time, even the other way. British colonial rule and so people they get a clue. So in other words, you don't get a clue whether you revoke is is constitutional or not. So the, my question is: uh, so how many more? How many more deals? How many more paperwork? How many more things where His Excellency President Bill don't sign without having a clue? Well, I tell you this now: there is no requirement for test the intelligence of a president anywhere in the world. There's no requirement. Now, however, there is always a requirement for make the president able to run the country, govern. So what can people then can do? Presidents are not the smartest people in the country. They are not. What do they do? Then they get a collection of smart people around them. You know, what they advise, what they sit down with them, what they look at, what they do, and sometimes get power for even stop them for doing certain things them depending on what it is. So different countries, they get their own system. But in my own country, that is this myth about we leader them. Immediately, a leader become leader. Even if a farmer who vote for him today become a uh, parliamentarian, we believe say he's the most intelligent in the constituency. It is wrong. Same thing. Mr. B.O. is not, not the most intelligent in the union. All what he been able to do, now for put together a team, of intelligent and smart people. When they look at what they do, I advise them. So if you don't do that, then you don't get responsibility as I talk. But secondly, it appeared to me that you not get the team for advise them, and so therefore, all what they do are mistakes upon errors, upon this, upon that. That's what I'm going to conclude that. So how dangerous it is, um, before we conclude, how dangerous it is for uh, with president for sign a pardon of a grant of pardon to a convicted murderer where we have civilians and uh, diplomats and uh, you know international communities and uh, investors in the country how dangerous it is that the president if is not aware of these processes or of this process um to the Sierra Leonean people or to in the, even the, the diplomats and international community within a Leone, how dangerous it is well first i would say very dangerous because even though they say the law not to punish people not for reform but indeed the law they punish people for doing wrong but if the person not get the punishment way it is out for the crime we think it happened normally now that it never take and say it was wrong. It just take and say it's a misfortune. So, for example, what happened in this man in case? He come up prison today. He begin la da the next the same day. It a lavish show off, and where amount to provocation to the family of the deceased person will be involved. And we are in interviews now radio, and, and people are saying what is happening because this man. I also see videos of I go now and gathering where appear like a church. They talk other things they way provocative. So you don't do that. that, that that's why the law is there to make sure people they, they, they get consciousness they didn't to do it wrong. You know? But also you get right for go through the process of trial and appeals and then continue. But having said that, me think say it is dangerous for make it get people them, whether not this man or people like, like that man. For be freed by politicians just because you get connection. Because he appears to a lot of Sierra Union. Say the only reason why this man is out is because he's connected to people to, with power where things say they can exercise those powers. Now, the same exercise of power don't bring embarrassment. The Attorney General lost his job, the president is embarrassed, cabinet, one minister is attacking the other attacking and basically calling out the other minister, and all of those dirty things coming out to the public this is what you get when you don't put together a team of people who even the president say he trusts them who are smart enough to tell you that this is wrong let's not do it you know and i feel sorry for for what happened to 
to the attorney general in particular because attorney general no the attorney general, 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 was he used as a scapegoat to cover? No, I didn't say the attorney general agree. I don't, don't do a lot of work under President Pio. Now, Emmanuel, I don't see they they do they display uh, leadership at, at the level where they interact with international uh, uh, bodies and giving reports about Sierra Leone and make them transparently. Now, now, now don't push through the 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 amendments. They already have one of serious legislations and. And so he has done a lot of work, and I think he, he needed to be commended. What, whatever happened, why President Bio exercised the discretion for for Trump off? Now he won't be able to determine that one day. But as I said just now, because he now the person will get the right and power for put together the team for advisor and work with him, if he lost confidence in you, he can still sack you. So perhaps that is the reason, and and in fact, I'm not going to say perhaps anymore. I believe that is the reason why President Bill, you know, lost confidence in Mr. Brewer. That's why he fired him. So now, Mr. Now Brewer no more he lost confidence. But how about the? It appears that Mr. Brewer no more lost confidence. He no lost confidence by the information minister. Yes, that is why it appears. That is exactly why he appears. Because otherwise, the other committee member they all for Dongo, including the information minister. Of course, yes. Information minister admitted. Say that they all go take picture at the man house. What's he go do that? Somebody asked me just now. Um, what, what he say? Minister Komot Freedom. He drive go to Yama. Forgot to take picture because he's a politician. That cannot be true. You know, and the Minister of Information cannot tell people people that or expect that to be accepted as truth. That's not correct. And those pictures that we see on social media and the pictures we we are aware of who they snap with. Uh, you know, not a political rally where you go say I need to refuse a, a picture, you know, because being a politician, not a political rally. That was a private meeting and a private home by people in government with private people. And one of them, unfortunately, appears to be a man who was convicted of murder, who has been controversially released from prison on a so called pardon, which pardon was purportedly revoked, and meetings say President not get the power. For rearrest her on the basis of the charge of a conviction of murder. So, um, you think, say, the president and we are fully aware of um, LEC in pardon? Do you think, because we, you know, everybody they get mixed feeling based on the way how the team go? You know, everybody, why LEC won in the first place? Why is out of the country in the first place? If really everything go through the process, why it won? So people are questioning or asking or saying that the president knew about it. What is your perception or what's in a new view Looking at all the 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 the, the things them the, the the things that will happen from everything in pardoning to disappearing from the country and immediately the press statement came out. Do you really think that the president is aware or is innocent? No, I, I think I lay out what you because it's your stage now. How you they pardon somebody who they convict where in penalty and death penalty. On the basis of that alone, the president cannot say he was unaware. That's not the first thing what they say. Secondly, the president gets a committee chaired by no less a person but his second person, the, the vice president. And the argument whether he was present or not doesn't make sense because physical presence is not required. He knows what was being discussed or presumed to have known what was being discussed. As chairperson, if you're not been there, you go on delegate authority to somebody else. So by doing that, it don't take part directly. Yeah, he's fully so aware. On the he's second argument, the on the committee or the advisor, and that committee was put together by the constitution, say it has to be put together by cabinet when a president they appoint her. On the second argument, he cannot say he was not aware. But thirdly, having been aware. Haven't been aware as president, he doesn't say this is wrong. 
I'm not for don't do up. What do you have for do next? He should have advised himself. He did not advise himself where meeting say for don't do. He purported to revoke. We not get power for revoke. He can, pay, he can put out a notice. But he's not get power for rearrest the man for the same offense. That is what I'm saying. He can put out a notice as they put out. But there is no power, no honor, no loners alone. We give president the power for rearrest a man when he don't pardon. You know, get her. So that, that last bit there for me, now he shocked me past all. The other one, they go say, okay, okay. But that last bit, he was not advised. Now he said, don't think I say this embarrassment too much. So, I have to do something. So for, for, for Sierra Leone to have a president where, you know, not able or where we they see lapses when it comes to decisions or, or, or proper thinking through for get to a critical decision where you make for Sierra Leoneans, especially when it comes to our security. Uh, um, what is the concern moving forward for 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 Sierra Leonean or for for a president? What is our concern uh, uh, moving forward where we don't see the president don't exhibit um, I don't know what to whether to say incompetence or lack of uh, um, or knowledgeable about critical issues in the country where you get for put a pen to read. What is our concern moving forward? I think I mentioned just now. See, now the fact that President Bio in self self went on national TV, television, and tell people they say he only appoints people that he trusts, people that he knows can deliver. We go all arm accountable for anything we happen. Number two, if those people that he trusts, he appoints, then fail him, that he get responsibility. So we are concerned, or we should be concerned, that the person we entrust the constitution to, they act in this manner. And I think, say, now, seated here, I believe, say, instant service, if they watch this program, or even before now, we don't know, say, in re with respect to this particular pardon, it wasn't the best decision that he made. He did not receive the best advice. He didn't, he didn't do the right thing. And right now, if not any other country, he should be thinking about doing something. Something like... But Sierra Leoneans are worried. Me, uh, like me for me, if president they act this way, it's not the best way to act as a leader of a country. So what do you what do you think the president should do, or what do you think um, um, people? Well, unfortunately, I'm not one person with it. I'm not one one of his advisors. He can advise himself, but no, I think no, 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 I'm saying generally, having said all of this, you know, with, with the decision we make, you know, uh, um, at this point by pardoning a convicted um, a murderer uh, without knowing according to the president without knowing or, or, or following the processes or aware of the processes of the process what do you think say a, a Sierra Leonean should call for for the president to do so so the the earlier we mentioned we discuss about the powers for if somebody do something we love or do you know and especially at, at the leadership position, they could be punished in some ways. Uh, for presidents, we constitution say we are you not know, responsible for till the way do wise in office. But the, the only thing we can, can happen, it could be kicked out of office by parliament, by impeachment proceeding. Now as to whether with politicians then where the parliament go initiate did you uh, say uh, an uh, impeachment hold on, proceeding? Hold on, hold on uh, um Ibrahim, did you did you say just now he could be kicked out uh, um, through impeachment uh, um, by parliamentarian, by the, through the parliament. Yes. You just say that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now that, now that they basically the constitution say, say um, So it's an impeachable uh, 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 crime or offence or 
Is it something impeachable, what the president did? Well, well, it could be argued. I mean, you know, I don't have a draw conclusion on whether it's impeachable or not, but the interpretation of the word, or the words the way under the constitution it can impeach a president in, then people people can argue and, and squarely put um, um, to put point finger as to as to whether in exercising all of those authorities, president don't show competence for for no waiting waiting for do what material time or you know no because for example in countries like this where president do something nobody looks beyond the president nobody they say oh now nah, mr x and i advise in the united states for example nobody they say that nah, mr so they say president did this is how civilized people countries you know how they work because if it is your act it's your act you don't say oh mr x advise me so this is this is the point so people that were able to judge the actions of the president as his act rather than his advice that he received. If my action, my action. So they're able to judge him whether he show incompetence. And so therefore, if the incompetence is one of the reasons when they can impeach person for, then it's an impeachable offense. Or impeachable right, okay. act. So he cannot All be right. punished. For example, you're the prosecutor for that, but he can able for the parliament can able for take such action as for impeachment. Okay, um, before we ramble, up, I, I just wanted to just go quickly to the uh, constitutional review, the white paper. If you think, say, um, the president will open that space there for dialogue and uh, debate on some of them things that will be mentioned, which is the 50 plus one and the supreme powers way not increase, and some of the other things that the proportional representation and all of that, do you think President Bill will open that space? Uh, for a discourse or a debate? Well, I, I think, say, um, conversation, they go around. It is not public. I know there is much of it in public among civil society, but at least one of those civil societies, members, then they begin for to say, president and the government for initiate discussions on the constitutional review process and government white paper and what is to be done around whether then for get a partial amendment of the constitution and then proceed because president bill seem for be saying seeing that the thing that were soft in the push them immediately the thing that we get for do with uh other people salon people there for approve in go left and force they touch them so for me that's even then they say not good for the country you know we live and for pick and choose what thing soft uh, what do you think say is the advantage for them for do for the country? No. And this is this is the country say they want a new constitution. Everybody in the country was represented. They say they want a new constitution. Let us put the new constitution together. As to whether in a duam, a left one, because I'm not gonna notice in my heart, but I think say civil society members, members in the media like a unam, forget discussions on this and bring up experts that we know about about rule of law and constitutional reform. And so they discuss this and, and ask government for do the correct thing. Me not believe, say, we forget a partial amendment of the constitution. And I go hope, say, we parliamentary and they know they support, not go support that idea. Forget soft areas of the constitution amended now and then left the other one there controversially for another person for can't deal with. We don't need to deal with that kind of situation. It is either we go wholesomely, we amend the new, we get a new constitution and proceed. Or we left out for the next party, where they can wait believe say, or the, the next time if he win back, it will be, it will get enough time. All hope say it will start. But if you not win, then the next president gets the new the, the opportunity. A world put pressure upon him, or make it do him from the one. Put pressure upon him. But that's what the argument in 2017 or 18, Ali say the next president will put pressure upon him. Let make sure say we get a new constitution. Well, it was never done. Because everybody just silent because a lot of things that they happen in the country by the ten days they don't other ones don't come and lots of things. So then they, again, I, I think it contributes what people they forget about somewhat, forget about and not push through the constitution and president and government itself put our force behind until now. You know, a few months to to elections. So me think say the right thing for do not forget proper discussion, engagement of stakeholders, engagement of communities. And making sure 
um, everybody understand the process, the drastic, dramatic changes they will get for take place if such amendments they go ahead and and things like those. But me not think say um, the country really, really for accept a parts amendment of the constitution and then proceed. Me not think so. We forget a new constitution. That okay. is what we all wanted, and that Namio advice how for proceed. All right, thank you very much. He's Ibrahim Surikoma, lawyer and a public policy spe specialist. Thank you for hanging out with me today, Ibrahim. Like I say, any time you hang out with me on this program, you know, I'd learn a lot, you know, from what in the Constitution say, what you know say, the Constitution. You know, say lawyer, they always like for make reference to Constitution because that's now we Bible, Nasser and um, And it is very important that people understand what the constitution say as to what we feel or what we think. And I think, say, you did justice to uh, the issues where we discussed today in terms of the white paper and uh, LEC in pardoning and revoke. I think, say, you, but we need a lot of, we need more discussion on this issue, especially the white paper. We need more discussion, like you say, more consultation, more debates on some of the, most of the issues. So, Way we raised today, but I thank you that you you've been able to open the eyes of Sierra Leoneans as always make they understand some of the nitty gritties them where they inside this uh, um, constitutional review and how Sierra Leoneans they also for for ask as many questions as they uh, as they could and um, you make them clear as well through the discussion say the timing also is not the, the the best and the right time because. This was the same thing, not the same thing we happened Now the last government, which was the APC uh, government during uh, former President Koma, where then we went for touch on the constitutional review at the latter, latter part when the election be just the, around the corner. And like you mentioned, a lot of civil society groups and other organizations, they befriended that President uh, Koma then, say the timing was not right because of the... Uh, the election. So it's the same, basically the same thing where President Bio also equally one for do. And we have not seen much of the civil society coming out to 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 criticize or to address or to talk about this issue that this is not the time. We have not seen much of them, many of them coming out. So, I mean, like you said, you're urging the civil society groups and organizations to come out and, 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 and address this issue and also even criticize the timing so that everything will be equal because now some of them think they so, also say if we're trying to say no to the, the past government we shouldn't be say, seen doing the same thing because two wrongs cannot make a right let me put it that way <laughs> you know makes arena they understand so once yeah, again, yeah, but more, more I, fundamentally meeting say the time is not, not correct because there is no way given the, the present political climate there is no way they will finish, even if they want for amen. Because there will be a lot of engagement with the opposition members. Where I believe, say, because of all the history of violence against opposition members, government will find that very difficult to get two-thirds majority. So all of that, we don't need that. We just think, say, we need a new constitution. That's all. All right. Okay. Um, like I say, the, the, I mean, the comments are... Uh, uh, they're just flowing in at the time we, you know, when we're living. But people from based on the comments from the comment section, what I'm seeing here, there's people that totally uh, um, agree with, um, that you know the timing is not. I mean, it's not the right time. This is something that the government, you know, for don't prioritize from the from the beginning of the administration since they came into governance. But the timing, people are equally concerned as you that the timing is not is not appropriate at this time, you know. So I hope the government take all of you know Serralinians, all of we all input into consideration and left them like the last uh, government and left them for. Um, you know, the next government, whether or not they... I, I think they will get reference think? points. <laughs> there is always a reference point, say, President Bio and government, lots of people, they wouldn't really left anything. They never listen to other people. But me, I, I just believe, say, the ordinary people that get for hold them parliamentarians, they're responsible if there any, anything happen. This time, no, we cannot. We should not allow it to happen. 
you know we get for stand with ground president bill if you want for give me uh, better lives and better um constitution let us have a new constitution and we can do it as a nation we cannot we cannot do it in few months we get for duam we get for duam together that is what we all want we don't need this constitution if, if, for if we have to do it if we have to do it let's get it right let's get let's yeah. get it right this this time around yeah. And you know, than going back and forth or take half parts. No, we take half parts. I mean, because once you take half parts, it's like uh, you left behind a, a lot of voices. You are leaving behind a lot of voices if you take half parts. So um, people are agreeing with you, like I said from the comment section, that you know, I mean, made a, this constitution, let them put on hold until you know the government will come, whether not them or another government will come. COP 2023. But like you said, I mean, it has been a pattern that, that this government always want for shove things in at the throat of Sierra Leoneans. So let's see what happens. Let's see. For senior years, it's a long time. Let, let's see what happens if the president will listen this time to Sierra Leoneans or to the voices of Sierra Leoneans. Thank you so much, Ibrahim Suri Koroma, the lawyer Thank and the public policy specialist. Thank you so much, you know, for educating our people to let us learn, you know, what is right in the constitution and what is not right. Thank you so much, um, Star TV, you know, for hearing this program, as always, for make we salute people themselves, you know, get, you know, we own concern from the diaspora and what we think. I appreciate, and thanks to the to the, the viewers and the people who comment, a lot of viewers and people commented on this issue. I want to say thank you, and let us keep this conversation going, because this conversation will therefore continue for a long time when it comes to the constitutional review, because there are a lot of things we salute people that need for ask questions. So thank you. Stay with us till next week. Keep telling me to Rachel on women and politics. God bless you, and God bless Sarah Bye-bye.